This is surprising, but rather uh, wonderful. Uh, the, the, the cops involved in the uh, Brick's death actually turned themselves in. Um, Rolf is getting 11 charges. The other cop is getting 3 charges. Um, but you also have a bunch of cops, um, uh, what, calling in, uh, saying they're not going to work because a cop, or the two cops are being charged with murder. Well, no, well, one is being charged with felony murder, the other is, what, pretty much just, like, aggravated assault and stuff. Um, but in my opinion, it kind of shows that, uh, uh, when you have, like, large uh, numbers of cops, you know, all committing crimes, and then other cops, uh, you know, defending those cops, the, the idea that it's only a few bad apples kind of goes out the window, and it shows that it's uh, a bunch of apples that have gone bad, and uh, which is why uh, a reform of the police is needed, as well as the... Uh, like the uh, justice system as a whole and the political system which helps um, uh, continue the cycle of uh, racist violence. Steve Harrigan for the fallout for today. Steve. That's right, Bill. Both officers had until 6 p.m. to turn themselves into police, and now both have done so. Earlier this morning, it was the officer who did not fire a shot, Devin Brosnan. He turned himself in earlier this morning. He was in the police station for about an hour, and then he was set loose on bond. Garrett Rolfe, the man with the more serious charges, 11 charges, including felony murder, he is still in the police station at this time. It's not clear whether there will be any agreement on bond or not. Of course, it all went down Friday night at a Wendy's about 10.30 p.m. When those two officers were called to the scene, they, uh, Brooks failed the sobriety test. He fought with the two police officers. He stole a taser. He fired the taser at the officers and tried to flee before being shot twice in the back. The other developing story here is a no-show by police. Last night, a number of Atlanta police officers did not show up for their shift in part in protest due to the murder charge against their fellow officer, their former officer at this point. It's not clear how many officers did not show up. The Atlanta PD issuing an unusual tweet saying they are still able to respond to 911 calls. It's not clear whether that police protest over the charge of murder will continue into tonight. Well, let them uh, quit their jobs or whatever. Um, they just show that they're... Uh they're bad cops and aren't needed um, on the force. Uh, cops that will actually uphold the law and abide by it are the only people that should be cops. Though, um, th there needs to be a, a total reformation of like how cops think and act and treat people um, before I will like truly trust uh, the system of uh, policing and stuff due to the history of what cops have been used for in the past of US history.